Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll look at how you can map soil moisture data from this map sensor. Let's get started. The first thing is, I, as always, I would like to import a feature collection for our study area for this analysis. Um, so I'll import the global admin area for all countries. It's a feature a fusion uh, table, FT. Uh, I will provide that fusion table ID and then I'll name it Warlet. Um, you can change it, um, you can change the name if you want to. Uh, and then the next step is to import the image collection from Erzinj library. I'll name it SMAP as a variable. Um, and uh, by using uh, EE image collection algorithm on Earth Engine and providing the um, image collection ID here. Um, and I'll do uh, a few other filters. The first is I'll filter the image collection by um, date. So my uh, image will um, only uh, be covering 2015, for starting from 2015 January to uh, ending 2017 December. And the other thing is, since this image collection contains other parameters, I'll only select SSM, that means soil moisture data. And also I'll, uh, um, um, I'll apply filter bounds to only um, provide uh, give me data that overlays on with this um, study region. So, um, and so this is what what I have here is just imported an image collection uh, spanning from 2015 to 2017. Um, and but if you want to display um, the uh, an image here, it's better to have a single year, right? So let's create another filter, another variable which is this map 2017, and then use the already created image collection, which is this map here that contains data from 2015 to 2017, and just filter, um, apply a filter by date um, to only select 2017 data. As you can see here, we have January 2017 to December 2017. So we're uh, calling this uh, image collection already created, this map here, and then filter by date. So that will only have um, you know, da data for uh, the year 2017. Again, I'll just uh, select SSM to, to select that variable and um, a median value. So the reason I need a median value is just I'll aggregate, since this is a lot of data, I'll aggregate the entire image collection and just create one single image that um, how that is uh, applied or processed is that by calculating the median statics, um, uh, the median pixel value for all the images in this image collection, okay? So the next step is to create a um, visualization parameter. I'll name it SAM, SMAP Vs, just, uh, you know, defining a minimum and maximum values for, and also, uh, you know, different color combination for that plotting. Okay, so the last thing is just to display the actual map. So. Uh, here, as we said, we'll map this 2017 uh, aggregated composite a median value for the year 2017. So that what we'll, it, what it gives us is a soil moisture um, for our study area um, and a median soil moisture for the entire 2017, right? And then I'll clip it by study area and then import the you know visualization parameter here. I'll name it SMAP 2017. And um, as always, I like to adjust the, the zooming uh, or just the focus of my map display by calling map.center object. And let's run that. Excellent. So this is our soil moisture for uh, 2017. So this is a median, uh, median soil moisture, median soil moisture value for the year 2017. Okay, it's a global data. Um, so what we have here is that um, the, you know, the uh, blue areas are low soil moisture, and whereas the uh, red um, and the yellow have, you know, higher uh, soil moisture, right? If you look at the Congo basin here, uh, you have a pretty good, uh, 
you know, higher uh, soil moisture. If you look at the, Sahara, the Sahara Desert, uh, pretty much low uh, soil moisture. That kind of makes sense. So this is just an example of how you can uh, plot uh, SMAP data on Arzingen.